everyone and welcome back to Fringe. Today is season 1 episode 7. I'm Vic Frost. I hope you're having a great day. Um, I am excited for this. It's been a few... I mean, I was busy a few weeks, but it's been a little bit since I've watched Fringe. So I'm happy to be back with it. Um, I hope you guys are happy as well. Like, I'm editing episode 5 right now. Um, it's not gone up yet. Uh, it's going up this week though. So, yeah. Do I remember what happened last episode? Not- Oh, it was the Exploding Girls? Was it the Exploding Girls? I think it was the Exploding Girls. Um, so yeah, that was a fun one. I can't wait for it to get real good. Because I heard that, like, people were saying, oh, you know, season one is just, like, sets the base off for the, the rest of the show, basically. So I can't wait to get to the rest of the show. Uh, but it's good so far. I like it. I like this format and I like the characters. I think they're really nice to to see on screen and stuff. So, yeah. So without further ado, let's go with the video. Captain Love, what's your 20? Hi. Go. 200 meters out. What's your... Go, go, go. Kind of looks like they're infiltrating someone, but... That's a lot of smoke. Is it coming from the car? Somehow, I feel like they're all gonna die. Pandas. That's seven pounds. What the hell weighs seven pounds? Oh. Are you having a heart attack? Obviously not, bro. What? <laughs> what kind of question is that? We gotta open up. Put the heart manually. Prep them. Oh my god. Blah 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 blah. I have like two monitors so I can I try to look away, but it's there. Oh. A saw I'm not I don't know. Oh. That's a strong start. It looked like at first I thought it was like uh, Davis, um, Davis, Davis, screws. I thought they were screws, but it's not. It looked like it had, like, it was thin and it had claws, and it looked like an organic something, but what? You can help. The man lying in that room is not just a colleague. He's a friend. He's a friend. You have any mints? <laughs> yeah, just just brush it off, man. I mean, I say that, but your friend is on the table dying, so that was a bit a tad insensitive. My bad. Result of genetic manipulation. And uh, okay, when you f when I stop it like that, it looks much more like CGI, which is great for me. Um. <laughs> It kind of looks like a bug, like a worm, but not like a milpat. One, we could be dealing with something as simple as. Uh, I feel like I don't know what it is, but it's not simple. Really? Yeah. It's a uh, things occurred to you. What's the other one? Mint. Oh, oh. I would still really like some gum or, or some mints. I don't know if it will help at all. It might. I didn't get to see what it is. We'll check it out. I try to pause it to make it less blurry. Thank as soon as possible. I promise you that. She can't see the thing in his heart. That's classified. Because sometimes you'd be like, yes, we can only see this side of the body. That's too suspicious. I mean, I know his vitals are weakening, but I feel like you should know more about this before you try to remove it. Like, I feel like there's at least a back... Like, a... I don't know. What, I don't know what it's called, but like a system that does a trap when you try to remove it or something. See? 
at this. This is good. Dude, he's dying. Can you? Organism's tissue. Your true calling at last. Working with me. I certainly hope not. <laughs> is it gonna be a theme? The theme of this episode? Aside from this dude. Perfect to be natural. So you're saying that someone put in this line of DNA on purpose? Okay. Why? Mischief. Arrogance. We don't. That's so fucking stupid. Like, that's arrogance that it's like. Peak. You have a parasite that could kill someone and you put your fucking signature on it? It's like giving your name to the FBI. Like, hey, look at the crimes I did. What the heck? No. Place it with another, but in alphabetical order. And there's a sequence of three letters that appears repeatedly in the oh, parasite. He's so in love. Oh my god. It could be and one of them that I remember was an operation tracking a group working on. I thought it would be a piece of paper. On the file. What? A month ago. A man. <sighs> like, I know there's stuff classified, but I feel like you could save so much time if you just gave the whole fucking story, man. British National <sighs> Name Genetic Weaponry. That's part. Super. Agent Dunham, there is much you have not been made aware of regarding the pattern. Yeah, it's a mistake. Well, I'm here. Traffic not in drugs or weapons, but in scientific progress. I don't know what this sells. Do you think that Jones will tell us how to remove it? He might. If we were allowed to see him. What do you mean? Human authorities have refused his access. Why? Not so... Cells are just, I guess, another word for group. So they were like... They're exchanging scientific knowledge. Or like... Stealing scientific knowledge to get like... like chemical bio chemical warfare or something i don't really get what is that oh is that a that's the root string that is spreading faster than i thought oh how long do you think he's got my lands how long does it take to get to germany like when i went to france it was like six hours so I guess it's trying to spread throughout the body, but there's no body. It's just a navy. That is scary, man. <laughs> Who are you? A friend? I don't know if the kiss on the cheek was just an attempt at this. This will be a problem. I'm sure we can work something out. I'm sorry. I would be willing to sign anything. Oh, girl, don't say that. Believe he will talk to me. If I write him a message, will you give it to me? I don't think you should ever say you would sign anything. That's like the word for bad. You're absolutely right. He's not focused. And also, it's not going to change anytime too soon. I'm his son. I'm not a puppeteer. I don't have a remote control. Thank There's you no for doing that. switch I can flick and turn him into the man I wish had raised me. Or even somebody I don't have to babysit every day. Damn. Let's go, Peter. That on my mind for a while. Apparently. <laughs> Frankfurt. We figured out each line corresponds to an FBI case file. Oh shit. And an ID number for the agent or agents assigned to it. Every one of them originating from this field office. Another mole in this office? And you think what? John Scotty. One of the lines is a phone number registered to a Joseph Smith. And we have him done. Yeah. I know Joseph Smith. We do? Loeb was brief. This is Broyles. I want a SWAT team surrounding Joseph Smith. He's at 43. He'll see you. But not until tomorrow morning. <sighs> Fuck, he this knows. Is That's who Broyles is after right now. What? How? I, I don't know. Peter? We need him alive. But at the same time, if they talk. I this need is to a talk police to action. Royals, you look. need to get back. You're I work with the agents. Just bring it. No, no, no. no. Drop your weapon. No, 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 no. And he's dead. Uh, fuck. I mean, I don't think it was a good idea for him to talk, anyways. But for them to talk to each other, I mean, but. Have the evidence respond? Turns out Mr. Jones would only help us if he could talk to Mr. Smith. 
The same Mr. Smith that your people just killed. Super. B, let me talk to him. Uh, hello, Peter. Uh, <laughs> he knows. Does he still have his head? Is it still attached to his body? Only you would ask that question seriously. Yes, he still has a head. I don't know if she did all that for nada. What happened over there? There's Are they exes? Is... Well, that's happened. I discovered I fucking magic. <laughs> I mean, not magic. Paranormal science bullshit. Spend the night. Ah, there they are. Does David Jones know that Joseph Smith is dead? No. Why? If you can still get in to see him tomorrow, he may not have to. Ooh. That's a problem. Of course it's a problem. A bullet in the head would normally in keeping his body cool. Mm, I believe that. Retarding how this man's scalp resembles. Peter Sparebottom, when he was a baby. How did you know that? <laughs> It's like when he, Peter was like at the beginning, oh, you know, he's lucid like one third of the time. I was like, he seems more lucid than that, but I think we just don't get everything. Like here we didn't get to see him repeat himself and stuff. Peter, I think. Jimmy Hoffa. I yes. <laughs> I don't know who that is. He had a shocking stimulation. Mine, for instance, is remarkably high. Yours, Peter, unusually low. How does he know that? It's wires to car batteries, and then you would shock me. Yes, I was accumulating data. No, you were experimenting on me. Son, we're ready. First, we must uh, test it. I forget he's a bit of a bitch sometimes. <laughs> Turn it on. Try 200 microvolts. I don't think he's gonna do it. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh. I suppose it's a good thing it wasn't attached to your head. <laughs> I don't believe you. I bet that John is gonna appear and she's like, oh, sorry, you have to go. Except it was all a lie. He betrayed me. But he did love you. I think it's just. Or telling, tell yourself that, that he didn't. The end for screwed up. With you. They are exes, okay. I honestly don't think she's ready for any relationship, but... Oh, never mind. I mean, I say that, but then again, I'm not in her head. Just she seems so upset when they mentioned John and stuff that I didn't think she was... But... Yeah. <laughs> they probably have to keep going, so I I get why he hates whoever called. Question first. I see. Are you sure Peter's brain is not gonna explode? Three, two, one. I can't believe you're experimenting on his oh. own son. What's your favorite? Anything? Did I hear anything? No. Just pain. Oh. There's gonna be secondhand embarrassment, isn't there? Ooh. Very serious. Do you know that? Well, someone's life is a risk. No shit. Your friend's life. Why not your freedom? Or extradition? Yeah, that's true, you though. You must realize that you- For the infection of Agent Loeb. I mean, it is true. I don't know how long he's been in prison. I thought it been, if, like, only a little bit, but- Diva, this is a sedative. It will numb your higher brain function. I are you sure about this? Heart? Walter, what are you giving me? Uh, I... <laughs> Bitch, <laughs> Don't worry about it. Perfectly harmless. Someone wanted information from the both of us. I can't believe that. Oh, I can believe that, but believe it's bullshit at the what same if, time. If it is so urgent to save the life of your friend. Why are you not making the phone call? This can't possibly be scientific. Uh, it is scientific. Ethical? Not sure. Daddy? Oh. Where does the gentleman live? Mr. Jones would like to know. Where does the gentleman live? Sam, let them do the job. <laughs> best reception in prison isolation cells you could just say i don't know why they hung up 
Where does the gentleman live? You have to increase the voltage. This is stressful. I'm so. S oh. This is. This is so. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I need paper. Paper, give me some paper. Quick, quick, I see something. Wait, what is that? Uh. I have no idea. Ich werde Sie nicht mehr bitten, Frau Duncan. Die Zeit ist jetzt um. He seems rather irritated with you. Astrid, yeah, no shit. Please, I have no Obviously, horizontal lines and literature on this. No shit. Misrepresentation conjecture, but the bullet may have destroyed that part of the brain that that helps oh. process horizontal lines. We are going to have to fill in the blanks. But you have no time. Little Hill. Little Hill? Little Hill! Parts Write this down. Three parts for Bendazol, two parts thermophilic. Why would he want to know that? Wow. What does that mean? He's okay. Is, is Mitchell. Maybe you betrayed the bureau. Ba -ba -bum. You know, I have. I mean, him, other not means. her. It'll give me an excuse to call you again. And that's why she's gonna say no. Thought that perhaps you were targeted because you might have discovered who that person was. Wait, are you the mole? I'll see you in the morning. Could he be the mole? But you have a problem, Agent Dunham. <laughs> You're not easily satisfied. I mean, I think this job is a good thing. You mind somehow? I would tell you those things, but I won't. You kind of just did tell her, so. Your dissatisfaction is what makes you so damn good. Nice. How you feeling? Better than you. You should be asking you that. Yeah. Good to Sus. Is sus things gonna happen? Did it work? <sighs> yes. It led them back to Mr. Jones. Did he ask the question? Oh ah, shit. She was on it. What? Ooh. Mine bewildered. Boggle. What? <laughs> oh my god. The way he was just like, he just says casting, like, who do you think the mold is? I was like, okay, maybe it's him. What? But the wife, maybe, probably not wife? <laughs> that was a good ending. Holy shit. And seriously, that was really good. Um, it was a great episode. I like how we got to see more about Olivia and like just her life before the show and that she had a, like this ex who wants to get back with her. Um, and I don't know if she does. Like she kissed him, but then she backed away. Uh, so I don't know. It's interesting to see how many people are related to the pattern, like, that they, they're in on it in a way that we don't understand yet. And it just, every time I'm like, okay, I think I get some stuff now. It's like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> um, so they're probably, they did all that. He almost died just for that. That is insane. Like, because that last sentence makes it seem like it was voluntarily, volun he did, he volunteered for it, or like, he did it on purpose. That's fucking scary, man. That he did that? Like, goddamn. Um, but it was really a good episode. Um, what we learned about, um... Walter and Peter, like, he experimented on him? Like, that's gonna come back and bite in the ass, man, because that sucks. That sucks. Like, it's 
cool that we know that now, but that's not ethical. I mean, not none of this, none of his works were ethical. Uh, but like, that's bad. That's not good, you know. Um, but I thought it was a great episode. I think the the stress of not knowing the answer and him just waiting for it and the guy yelling at her in German and just like me like gotta hurry the fuck up oh so good so good I don't know I thought she was like out of the room but I guess not because um she heard it but and how did they know that that was the question or maybe the key was in on it oh, so many questions oh my god that's what i like about this show it's so mysterious and i hope it doesn't go away after season one you know i mean we're we're still like there's 21 episodes and we're at the episode 7 right now. There's a lot to go on. And I think there's 5 seasons from what I remember. Uh, so we're in for a long ride. We're in for a long ride. Um, but yeah. Now, I thought this was a really good movie. Uh, movie. I was thinking of something else at the same time. So um, I thought it was a really good episode. Um, like how Olivia is so determined every half single episode, I think is really great, and I love that so much. Um, I think it's awesome, and I think it was one of my favorites yet. Just like the tension of it all, and everything, and we get to see like this whole parasite thing being like an organic thing. Is so good in the way to crawl back up the IV and just it's just so good <laughs> I think I like that scene at the end where they were just trying to get the little hill answer and I hope we get to know what it means there's a lot of stuff like we don't know like there's like example the little disc things so like John Scott that they have we like did that happened and we still don't know and there was the episode 5 that we just that I just edited when like John that I'm editing right now where John is like you know in her subconscious never saw him again <laughs> so I don't know maybe he just didn't have information so that's why we didn't see him but it's a lot of things that are popping up a lot of questions and I hope they're all related but not hope but I feel like they're all gonna be related but I hope it's like a bunch of different things that pop up and you're like wait wait where are you where are you who are you and i hope it doesn't end much so i think i think this season was laying the base for all the mysteries you know also i didn't see the observer at all um but yeah i thought it was a really great episode i don't know it's, it's like i don't i don't have much to say i'm just confused <laughs> i'm just confused um I like how Peter and Olivia's relationship is growing. I think I really like that. Um, the <laughs> when Peter called a uh, Walter like daddy in like a childish voice. Oh my god, my heart! And the fact that he doesn't even call him dad or like father. Like he doesn't just want anything to do with him. He's so sad. Oh my god, <laughs> it's so sad. Um. So yeah, I I, I kind of have don't. I don't have a lot to say. I think it was a really great episode, but I have more questions than answers and like to so like usually I analyze some stuff a bit, like talk about it, but like I'm too confused to talk about stuff, you know? <laughs> There's not much I know that happened in this episode. Um <laughs> yeah. I don't Yeah, I don't know. It was a really great episode. I really liked it. I think one of my favorites yet for sure. Um, so yeah, let's look at the extras. We have Astrid Farnsworth is played by Jessica Nicole. She's known for her role as ancient Astrid Farnsworth on the Fox series Fringe. She has guest starred in Scandal 
and scandal as Kim Munoz. She starred as Carly Lever, the head of pathology in the ABC medical drama The Good Doctor. Uh, Nicole designs and makes all of her own clothes, including shoes, pants, jackets, and undergarments. That's awesome. Go, girl. Seven point nine out of ten. Only, only set. But that was so good. That was such a good episode. What? I don't agree with this rating. Codes. Also, I don't know if it's just that people don't get this far in the recording and they just haven't told me. But do I need to know this? Like, do I need to like note down because I, I'm noting them down. But like, I don't know if just people don't get this far. I don't look at the statistics that much, apart from like viewership, so. When we see the truck through night vision goggles in the episode's opening scene, the driver is on the right side of the truck. When the camera pans out to reveal the truck from a different angle, he's on the left side. When the doctor positions the retractor and cranks Luke's chest open, we can see that the top of- uh, <laughs> that I couldn't have seen. That the top of it is parallel to Leo's body, but then when he steps back to look down on it, the retractor has turned 45 degrees. The uniform worn by the prison guards are actually old-style German Bundeswehr uniforms. The German military has no authority at all in all things internal. Mistake on top of the mistake. The guard wearing badges regarding the federal states of Ger Germany under German military uniform is no such thing used or allowed. The aerial shot of the Frankfurt airport shows that railway station as it was prior to its reconstruction in 2007. The long glass bubble north of the highway, shot with film facing south, has been replaced by a multi-story hotel. In addition, none of the inter interior shots were taken at Frankfurt Hotel, which has a glass and steel girder look. <laughs> anyway. During the raid on Smith, Agent Dunham was in Fra Frankfurt and ba Bishop was in Boston, but the position of the sun is the casting the same shadows as the time zone in 6th. As, a as the time zone is six hours different, it should have been either early morning in Boston or late evening in Frankfurt, not mid-afternoon in both. Yeah, because she didn't mention it, she's like, oh, 8 a.m. for me, but then it's just... The prison which Agent Dunham goes to in Germany is called Wisch Wissenschaft Prison? Wissenschaft? I'm so sorry. It's a German word for science. What is it? The running gag of Walter calling Astrid by the wrong name continued this episode while calling her Astro that I noticed, and Astroid. During Leob's debrief at the beginning of the episode, Boyle's asks him what other agents are on the operation. Leob answers Coscarelli and Scrim. Don Coscarelli would directed the Fantas Phantasm horror movie series starring Inga Scrim as the main villain. Oh, I didn't notice. Next episode from Clue from the Cure was at Holly's dinner on the thermometer. Um that Walter Bishop plunges into one of the victims' heads. Ugh. It initials ZFT. Oh my god. That is so small. Refers to the organization responsible for the parasite. The observer can be seen in terminal. Ah. Didn't see him. Didn't see him. Well, that was it. I hope you guys liked the video. Um, If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, like, follow below, subscribe to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.